Corporate nationalism versus democracy in the war in Georgia over voting rights. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it corporate nationalism. What, whatever. I, I don't know the details of the Georgia voting rights bill. And I don't care. I mean, I do care, but I don't care for the purpose of what I'm focusing on here. The fact that corporations have decided to so belligerently, aggressively throw in their hat in, in the political sphere. Uh, I mean... Any kind of tax exemptions these folks have should be gone. And and I mean, this is this has been kind of going on in America for a long time in softer, less obvious ways. And it's left and the right have had their moments. But this is kind of a wake up call that says, you know what? We have to get corporations. We have to have a separation of corporation and state because corporations, these are corporate nationalists. They have, a, they have allegiance to no country but themselves. They are a country in and of themselves. So what, are, what, what, what does the, uh, the interweb uh, mass media have to say about this? We have uh, from, well, I don't know if you're mainstream media here. Uh, I do try to get some, some, some esoteric, esoteric links in here as well. Like, yeah, a few esoteric links here. That's good. Craig Campbell, Delta's big corporate assault on America. This is from musttreadalaska.com. Do you want to make a difference? Do you believe them? Okay. There's uh, You're just going. To, okay. So let's see. You're just going to do a little uh, pitch here. Let's see if you got something meaty for me, Craig. Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. Let's see. Uh, maybe it's time to take a stand against corporate bigwigs who think new, their intellectual brilliance provides them the superior moral ground to preach to us about politics. See, that's just it. Now, if this guy's, I think this guy's pretty conservative, so maybe he's selective in uh, his outrage against corporations that use their power for political ends. But needless to say, whether it's left, right, or what otherwise, I think that we should all all come together and say, you know what? We're done. We're done with corporations that use their power. Their, their power, because there's very few companies that can match as far as the level of employment that they can offer, the high levels of, of skilled employment that pays well. Very, 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 very few small companies that can match their power. There's very few, few, few companies, very few individuals, very few organizations that can throw around the, around the amount of money that these corporations can. They've got huge slush funds, just millions of dollars sometimes hundreds of million dollars sometimes billions of dollars that they can throw around to affect culture and society and uh it, these decisions are made by a very small number of billionaires with 614 billionaires in america folks let's see delta pilot shortage leads to canceled flights now this is somewhat unrelated but it's still nice to show because delta Fi Air airlines is uh thrown in with this and decided that they're going to use their corporate power to uh bully americans it does, and again it doesn't matter whether you're left or right doesn't matter if you're for or against this you, you if you're if you're poor in america you shouldn't be for these corporations having this type of power and i believe that this is really due to they have pilot shortages that are unrelated but i think well i think they're going to get more than that over over the next few weeks or, and months delta airlines used to be known for its operational ex excellence but the atlanta based airline now can't seem to consistently run its scheduled operations on holidays what's going on Del delta canceling dozens of flights over eastern Delta so far has canceled 74 flights today, blah, blah, blah. It's because of pilot shortage, just like I said. Christine Flowers. This is from Pot. Oh, that last story was from OneMileAtATime.com. And this is from PotAmeric.com. And this is Christine Flowers. Georgia voting law is, is no return to Jim Crow. And so you see the battle, grind, battle lines being drawn. I think the big story is that corporations, they just have to... We, we don't want them in politics. Separation of corporation and state is what I say.